Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tamu. So today I want to talk about a very important topic, which is how to choose the right uh, cybersecurity certification. A lot of people come to me, they don't know which certification they want to start with, right? And this, this is what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, so I want to talk to you about a person I know, let's call him uh, Tom, okay? Uh, and I helped him out in cybersecurity. And now Tom, he saw that many of his peers were doing the certified ethical hacker certification, right? It was trending in the industry. Uh, people were getting good salaries and Tom didn't want to get left behind, right? So he decided to jump on the bandwagon. And the problem was now his career goals were was to specialize in cybersecurity risk management, okay? A field where certification like the CISSP or C-RISC that would have been more beneficial. Now, despite his best efforts, he Tom struggled with the CEH material, right? Why? Because they focused on penetration testing and network security, right? And these areas, they didn't align with his career goals or his previous experience. He found the exam very, very challenging. Unfortunately, did not pass. Why? And that not pass on his first attempt. I think second he passed. But uh, if, even after he eventually he obtained the CEH certification, uh, he found out that it did not provide the career goals, the advancement that he wanted. You know, when he reached out for employers, for jobs, employers in his area, the risk management, they were more interested in candidates with risk management certifications, like the C-RISC, like the CISSP. So this is what I wanted to talk about. This is like a cautionary tale for you, please. If you are planning on getting certified, it's very, very important to choose the right certification that aligns with your career goals, okay? Don't just listen to what people are saying and just go ahead and do a certification, choose the right one, right? Now, starting your uh, certification journey, it can be an exciting time, right? It's important not to rush into it. Uh, you should choose the right cybersecurity certification. And there, that requires thought, patience, and a good understanding of your career goals. So this is what I wanted to talk about, right? Like, uh, let's, talk, uh, let's talk about the common mistakes, which like Tom made, and what are the things you should do, okay? What are things you should do to make sure that you don't make these mistakes and how to choose the right one, how to choose the right cybersecurity certification. So the first mistake he made was jumping on the bandwagon, like I said, right? A lot of times I've seen beginners and even like uh, experienced people, they make the mistake of selecting a certification because it's trending, right? Or just because people they near, they know they're doing it. It's called like the shiny certification syndrome, right? So while it's essential to stay updated with market trends, blindly jumping on whatever other people are doing, it, it, what will happen is the certification will not align with your career and it will cause you a lot of problems in the long run. What was the other mistake he did? He bit off more than he can chew, right? So ambition is great, but overestimating your abilities can lead to wasted time, money, uh, demotivation, right? So picking a certification which does not align with your skill set, it's like, uh, you know, uh, me, I'm not a penetration tester, I'm not a hacker. And if I try to do the advanced level penetration testing certification, I'm going to fail, right? So you need to make sure that it, it matches up with your current abilities, okay? And what was the other mistake? He neglected like the market demand. He didn't do his research, right? Not all certifications are created equal. And like uh, CSSP usually pays considerably more than the CEH. So the market demand for certain certifications will be higher than others, right? So you need to understand what employers are valuing, what they are looking for. And like uh, lastly, overestimating the power of certifications. This is another mistake which Tom did. So a certification, like I've said many, many times before, it's not a magical key that will automatically open doors to high paying jobs, right? Many beginners, they make the mistake of thinking that when I get certified, uh, next day I'm gonna get a LinkedIn job offer, but, but no, it doesn't work like that. So it's important to remember that while a certification can enhance your CV, it won't replace things like experience and other soft skills, right? And I'm gonna make more videos on this to guide you. So how do you choose the right certification? These were This is what I wanted to talk about. So these are some tips which might help you. First of all, do your research. Uh, before selecting a certification, spend time researching it, understand what skill it imparts, what are the relevance in the market, the prerequisites, and the examination process. Okay, don't get impressed by flash, like flashy titles, okay? And do a realistic, uh, the second step you should do is realistic self-assessment. Be honest with yourself about your current skills and knowledge level. It's better to start with a beginner level certification if you're not familiar, right? Okay, the other thing you should do is seek mentorship, uh, like uh, a mentor, preferably someone experienced in the field of cybersecurity uh, can offer you good advice 
on which certification to pursue based on your career goals and current skill set. They can also provide you with practical insights that you won't find in books or online. And lastly, you want to consider your long-term career goals, right? Always, always align your certification with your long-term career goals. If you are interested in cloud security, look at something like the CCSP, ethical hacking like the OCSP, network security, right? Just choose a certification uh, that will propel you towards your goal in the next five years, next 10 years, okay? So this is how you choose your correct cybersecurity certification. I hope that will help you now to make the right decision and make you avoid the mistakes which Tom did. Thank you very much. If this was helpful, do like and subscribe uh, to this channel and let me know in the comments if you feel I should have covered something I didn't. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.